Hey guys, Julia here. So this video will be another book review and this time it is about garden design and it has been highly requested, so here we go. And also before I forget, at the end of this video I will be announcing the winners for our giveaway. Anyway, let's get started. So the first book that I have here is Garden Design Made Easy by Tim Newberry. And if you're a beginner in the garden and a beginner in garden design, this book is excellent. So it will help you create um, kind of an inventory of your outdoor space and then think about what you would like to have in your outdoor space and then execute it step by step. Very easy solutions. Um, I love that they have a chapter on kind of problem areas in our gardens because we all have those. Let's say you have garden on the slope or maybe it is a boggy area or area that is really dry and my favorite part of this book is the last chapter where they have beautiful garden plans garden renderings and also planting plants and you know if you've been watching my channel you guys know i'm a big sucker for like beautiful garden plants because that's pretty much what i do for a living uh, they're very easy to read and let's say if you don't want to think about um, creating a garden plant for your garden they have all these different configurations that you could just use and execute in your garden overall excellent book for a beginner and actually anyone. The second book that I have here is Design Your Garden by Dermot Gavin and it is also an excellent book for beginner, advanced and intermediate uh, garden designers and also gardeners. Now I've had this book for over 10 years and I still reference it to this very day. And this book is a little bit different from the first book that I showed you in the sense that is more of a contemporary garden design. The first one was more classic. And um, Dermot Gavin, I believe, um, designed gardens for Chelsea Flower Show and won number of medals. His gardens are truly special. So if you follow this book, I think that you can create a truly special garden in your own backyard where people visit you and they leave and they will just talk about it for years to come. This will show you little details that are whimsical and artistic and imaginative and truly special in your garden. That's why I um, kind of consider this great resource in my uh, landscape design business because I always find something new in this book. And it is very easy to follow. I would say this one has more illustrations and photographs than the first book. The first book has more text than uh, illustrations and photographs, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. But um, great inspiration. It has different garden layouts um, problem solver. So if you have a garden that is long and narrow or an L-shaped, it will um, give you an options how to deal with that. But just love this book. I would say um, out of all the books that I show you today, this is a must have. Now the next book that I have here is the Landscape Design Answer Book by Jane Bath. And I reference this book almost every time I design a garden. It has such a wealth of information. Now the first two books that I just showed you were written by British authors and the garden design style is definitely more European oriented in those books. This is a book that addresses a classic American suburban landscape and all of the issues that can come with it. It is such a great a troubleshooting um, information book. Let's say you moved into a new house and you're not sure what to do with the foundation plantings or you're establishing a new garden and you're not sure how wide your walkways should be or patios or is this tree too close to my house all of these problems I find when I redesign landscapes or when I'm starting to design landscapes um, from scratch, you can find an answer to almost any of those problems in this book. It is just amazing. It is full of um, 
examples and photographs so you can clearly see what is going on and find an answer. You could see that I have my little tabs here for reference, um, like the foundation plantings, adding drama, and getting started are like my most favorite parts of this book. But this is definitely must have if you're working on your garden and if you're planning on uh, designing a new garden or redesigning it, this is a great book. The next book I have here is Garden Spaces by George Carter. And um, if I were to describe this book, I would say it is stylish and elegant. And this book is also great for beginners and it will show you how to divide your garden areas and really organize your space. And uh, what we try to do a lot as gardeners, uh, we try to pack a lot of different items into our garden and it becomes very cluttered. But this book will show you how to organize your space without sacrificing style or without it looking really uncoordinated. Um, it is really practical and it's also a great book for small gardens and large gardens. Now the last book that I have here is The Organic Garden Design School by Anne Lovejoy. And anyone with a last name like that I think is a super happy person. <laughs> But I absolutely love this book because it uh, shows you how to work with nature when you're designing your garden instead of against it. And um, although the author shows you the basic, very basic garden design principles, she is showing you how to uh, incorporate that natural wave, the new wave of garden design. and. Um, a lot of native plantings as well. So her garden and where she practices is actually in Seattle, which is the West Coast. But a lot of the plants that she has here are okay to grow elsewhere and they are native in other areas of United States and the world. So I highly recommend this book. Um, the second half of the book is actually dedicated to maintenance in the garden and how to improve your soil which is incredibly important because without maintenance our gardens would not be pretty at all and the last part of the book is um, actually garden design workbook which you can fill out yourself as you're working on your garden. It has a lot of questions and a lot of answers. You can draw your own diagrams here. So I uh, suggest that if you buy this book, um, make sure that you buy either a new copy or the one that has not been filled out. All right, guys, so this is it for the book review. And uh, I will post all of the book names and authors in the description down below so you can check it out on Amazon. And also, don't forget to check out your local library because a lot of times when I go to my local library, I find these amazing books that I can look through before I decide to buy them. So as for the giveaway, um, last time I did this very complicated things uh, when we hit 5,000 subscribers where I was um, kind of using my pets to pick the winners and it took forever. It took like three hours because my cats were not cooperating because they were being cats. Um, so this time I just decided to go with the, an online uh, comment picker to pick the winners. So the winners of the giveaway are Robert Tange and um, JC King. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you so much for entering the giveaway and for answering the questions. Um, I cannot even tell you how impressed I was with your insight into gardening and garden design and what you would like to see on this channel. So I actually printed out a lot of the topics that you mentioned and I will be making videos on these. So expect like a flood of videos on different garden and garden design and uh, garden maintenance topics. Um, again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Uh, I would really love to stay in touch with you. And uh, as per usual, if you have questions, whether about the books or any other topics, let me know and I'll see you next time.